Hello, thanks for joining me on my video today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a extremely useful snap-in that we have in Windows. Uh, it's one of those fun tools where the, the whole purpose of the tool is actually in the name, so it's a local user manager. Uh, it's managing all the users. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about some basic usage. And, you know, this may seem like an overly simple tool, but that's the fun thing about uh, using tools that are built into an operating system is that we can use them to explore the OS, to analyze the OS, and we can get a better uh, security uh, opinion of what's happening in the system. So if, we're, if I were to use a security mindset, I would then uh, look at how many users do I have on this machine? How many groups do I have on this machine? Are there, which user belongs to which group? Does a certain user have the correct permissions? Does that certain user have too many permissions, right? This is, this is one of the many ways that we can actually use uh, local user uh, snapping. So what we're gonna go through here is I'm gonna do some basic usage, adding, deleting, um, and we're gonna do a little, bit, a little bit of analysis to see uh, users that have too many permissions, okay? Let's go ahead and add a user. Right click, new user, give him a name, Bob. Uh, I could make a password for him. I'm going to give him a really weak password. Uh, we can make the user must change their password next time they log on, which is which is be useful. I'm going to give, uh, I mean, I got a new a new user joining onto my system, and they're going to have to have to change this, right? Or maybe this is their password that they're going to be s set with. Uh, we could do never expires which would be silly. Uh, user cannot change the password. You know, there are some scenarios where that would be reasonable. Uh, but let's go ahead and just add it. Close. And now we've got Bob. Awesome. So let's go to Bob, and we're, we could change his password. That would be fine. Uh, but let's go and look at properties. So I want to change some stuff about him. Um, let's go and change who he is a member of. Like, which group does Bob belong to? Add. Uh, we're going to go to we'll look for administrators group. Boom. Bob is now a member of the administrators. So. In the security realm, I would say that that would be something to look for. Do we have uh, apply? Okay. Does does a regular user have the same privileges as an administrator? Is that does that match up with the uh, the company policy? Right. It depends on the on the on the company, and some people will justify having a a regular user with advanced privileges. Uh, I would say it's better to have just one one account. Uh, but you know there's all kinds of justifications so we can also go ahead and make groups so make a group I'm gonna create a group called Andrew close and now the group the group uh, exists called Andrew let's go back and let's actually add Bob right click properties and we're gonna actually add him to my new group. Boom. And now Bob is a member of users, of Andrew, and of administrators. So this is just a really quick demonstration of how we can use this, we can manipulate it. Uh, we can also, the, the next step would be to making sure that these groups that we've made have the appropriate permissions in themselves, right? Uh, doing a good analysis of how they overlap is really important for the security of your of your system, keeping it well defended, and and just having all around good security. All right, if you've enjoying my if you're enjoying my content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I've got lots of videos uh, uh, planned, and have a great day. All right, bye.